Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just do a quick video um, and show you my collection of neutral palettes. Um, I've seen a lot of videos going around of people and their top maybe 10 palettes for fall. I don't have 10 palettes for fall. Um, because my collection is smaller and I'm just starting out, I don't have as many as some of the bigger YouTubers would have. But I do have some really nice palettes. Um, some are cool tones, some are warm tones, some are a nice mix. Um, I'm going to show you swatches. I'm going to put up on the screen where you can purchase them and about how much they'll run. Um, so if that sounds like good, that ooh, if that sounds good to you, then please stick around, and I'll be right back. palette that I want to talk about. It's an older palette, but I think it is extremely relevant um, because it is just a neutral palette, and that is the Lorac Pro 3. Um, these colors are very, um, very creamy. They're very pigmented, and I find they last a really long time on the eye. Um, um, I love that there are two of these really dark matte colors that would be wonderful for the outer V. Um, they would also be wonderful to use with an angled brush as an eyeliner. Um, I find the older I get, if it's a really stark black eyeliner, I don't think it looks as attractive on the eye as maybe using an eyeshadow for an eyeliner. Um, this color, Amethyst, right here, I think is a gorgeous color. Um, this one right here called Medallion, it's also a really, really pretty color. Um, this one is kind of a rose gold right here. It's called Rose Bronze. But anyway, there are some really, really pretty colors in this palette. Um, and I've enjoyed this palette over the years. It's, I've, I've, I've actually had it. Um, it's been out several years, but I've only had it in my collection for about a year. Um, another one that I really like is called Nude Tude from The Bomb, and it looks like this. And the colors are Sassy, Stubborn, Selfish, Sophisticated, Sexy, Serious, Snobby, Standoffish, Sultry, Seductive, Silly, and Sleek. And here it is. Another one that has these dark mattes, perfect for eyeliner or darkening that outer V. Anyway, I love the Balm's packaging. It's so cute. Um, now, this next one is from Zoeva, and I think I got it in one of my uh, subscription boxes. This one is called Naturally Yours, and I think it's beautiful. It leans a little, a little bit cooler. It's, it's got a, you know, a cool tone and a warm tone brown in it, but it's lovely. And the shade names are Pure, Soft and Sexy, Smooth Harmony, Forever Yours, Slow Dance, First Love, Casual Elegance, Sweet Sound, Lovely Monday, and Timeless Chic. Um, 
All right, the next one is a super popular um, neutral palette from ColourPop called the Going Coconuts palette. And the shame, shade names are Shredded, Palm Reader, Culotta, Lovely Bunch, Coco Crush, Shell Yeah, Get Crackin', Da Coco, and Nutty. And this is it right here. This is one of their uh, Super Shock Shadows right in the middle. Um, and of course, it just feels like pure butter dipping your finger in there. But there's three shimmer shades and then the rest of them are matte shades. But I love this for um, just the everyday eyeshadow look. This is actually one of my favorites. And one that really compares to it is another one that I got in a subscription box. It's from Cargo and it's called Nude Beach. And while I wouldn't call them dupes, this one is extremely similar um, to that. And the shades are called Coconut Grove, South Point. Hmm, what does that say? Pastelito, Espanola Way, Cortadito, Moon Over Miami, Brickell, Wynwood, and Lincoln Road. Again, this one also has um, those two dark shades, and this one only has two shimmers in it. But it's a great, another great everyday palette. Now, these next two palettes, I think, are the perfect fall palette. When I think of a fall palette, these are the shades um, that I think of. Um, the first one is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. And here's the color story right here. Extremely um, warm tones, extremely pigmented but an absolutely beautiful color story. And the pigments don't just apply to the shimmer shades. The, these uh, matte shades are extremely pigmented as well. Now this one does not have shade names, but anyway, beautiful palette, beautiful. And then the last one that I have, last but not least, is from Beauty Bakery, and it is the Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette. And that's it right there. This one doesn't have a mirror. The Juvia's Place does not have a mirror in it. But the shade names are Rice Pudding, Chai Pudding, Bread Pudding, Butterscotched, Spiced Caramel, Mango Pudding, Nana Pudding, Warm Cocoa, and Almond Jelly. Beautiful, beautiful for fall. I mean, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? So if you're looking for a good um, everyday neutral palette, I think these are some good choices. Um, some of them are going to be a little pricier than others, but as far as performance go, I don't think that you would be sorry with any of these um, in your collection. I think that you would enjoy them. So, I hope that you enjoyed seeing these neutral palettes. Um, I would really love to start doing that, just kind of pulling out some things from my collection that I don't use on a daily basis, and just remind myself um, of what I still have and what's available out there. I noticed that the all the trending um, videos right now are going to be on a lot of the holiday um, things that are coming out. And I mean, it seems like some, like ColourPop is releasing new palettes and products every single day. And because I'm a small channel, I can't keep up with that for you. I wish that I could, but it just Give me time, stick with me, and we'll get there. But in the meantime, I'm going to focus on what I have. I'm planning on a no new November um, 
um, just so that I can save a little money for the holidays. But anyway, with that being said, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button below, hit that bell to be notified of any future uploads, um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. That helps me tremendously. So enjoy the rest of your day. I love you all. I thank you so much for sticking with me. I did get, um, I did hit a milestone over the weekend, a thousand um, watch, no, a thousand views. So that was exciting. So anyway, God bless, enjoy your day.